The Yemeni opposition presented a new political initiative in order to put an end to the current stalemate and to end the unrest that has rocked the country since February. The initiative, which is similar to the rejected five-point agreement presented by the opposition in early of March, outlines a plan under which Yemeni President Ali Abdullah Saleh would step down and transfer his powers to the country's vice president. The plan also calls for the restructuring of national security, central forces and republican guards, as well as the formation of national coalition government that will reflect the country's entire political spectrum. I think this initiative is very important and it has come uh, at the right time because it uh, answers so many questions that were raised by the international community, by the Gulf states about what is the fate of Yemen after the departure of the regime. So this, this, this initiative has answered this, uh, these questions and they have put the regime in a, uh, in a corner to, to test whether it is credible and it is serious about leaving power or not. The opposition, which has continuously refused every single one of President Ali Abdullah Saleh's concessions, said that their latest compromise is the last one and that they wouldn't provide any more initiatives. However, the country's youth at Sana'a's chain square expressed their discontent with the opposition's initiative, saying they don't want anyone to talk on their behalf. This initiative has nothing to do with the young protesters or their aspirations. The only demand made by the youth is the immediate and unconditional ouster of the regime. Speaking at a meeting with representatives from Ta'az province, President Saleh once again renewed his readiness for the peaceful transition of power under the constitution, but maintained that he refuses the policy of twisting arms implemented by the opposition. Meanwhile, a bloody confrontation between protesters and police forces erupted in the city of Ta'iz, around 300 kilometers to the south of Sana'a. Police forces used live rounds and tear gas to disperse the protesters who were marching toward the city's governmental compound. At least one protester was killed and hundreds of others were injured. Some of them sustained serious injuries. The protesters were marching toward the city's governmental compound when police forces intervened to prevent them from reaching government offices. Protesters from across the country have been relentless as they have continued their sit-ins and protests since uprising began in February, calling for the ouster of the regime and an end to President Saleh's 32-year rule. The ruling party hasn't yet accepted the opposition's initiative, which calls for the immediate ouster of the regime. Now, after two months, the political stalemate is still dragging on in the country with no end in sight. Mohammed Al-Attab, Press TV, Sana'a.